lash. Woo! Okay, next one. Sorry, I just get excited. I love makeup. Yes, queen! Who said that? I can't even remember. Thank you guys for the gifts. Thanks, Sage. I mean, like, y'all don't have to give me gifts. Like, I really, like, I don't really care about that stuff. Like, I'm not that, like, I'm not, like, I feel like, yes, I have a platform, but, like, I'm not an influencer, you feel me? You feel me? <sighs> Fit so cute? Nah, bruv, I look fat in this. Like, body positivity and all? Shoot, my flies down. I just, like, gained so much weight over quarantine, but, like, hopefully I'm gonna get it back. Sorry, am I allowed to tell you why Jake got fired? I mean, like, it's not even that much of a secret. Like, if you go back in time and, like, look at the receipts of, like, everything that went on at that time, I feel like you can figure it out. Like, he just, I don't, I think, like, Jake's brand is what was at that time not really as much of, like, like the youngest of audiences like it was more m mature audiences and disney's audience was very like young especially especially bizarre barks like not even disney but bizarre bark show like our age range was like six to eleven like we put the show out for very young kids and so i think that like there was just issues like with that and i think that they like let him know that like you know, if they could not come to, like, a mutual agreement with, like, the content that he was producing, that, like, it would not work out for him to continue on with the show, and I think that, like, they, he just kind of made that decision, like, I remember him saying, like, you know, that he, like, loved doing the show and everything, but he also felt like, you know, if we did end up doing, like, four seasons that, like, he was worried because we were working a lot. Like, we were working nine months out of the year, like, 6 a.m. to, like, 10 p.m. every day. So there was, like, no time for him to make content, which was, like, his initial thing, you know? Like, he was starting his YouTube vlogs, like, and he just didn't really have time. And also, like, I feel like, you know, with Disney, like, it's not a bad thing. Like I said earlier, you know, it's a young audience. You know what you're getting into. Like, you, like, have a certain, like, image to uphold for the time that you're on there and the time that you have a contract with them. And I just feel like... With, I mean, it. I really do think that it was, like, like on both ends, like, a mutual thing. But I just remember, like, we got an email on Saturday. And they said, Jake is not coming to work on Monday. And that was literally all that was said. And, like, nobody talked about it after that. And, like, literally, like, nobody talked about it after that. So, that's honestly, honestly, the situation that's happened. And I've, like, never said that before on live. But... It's, like, so done and over with, and it's not even, like, a whole, like, drama thing anyways. So, you know, like, I don't even think it matters anymore. Like, this live is not going to be on, like, a snap story, you know, being like, oh, my gosh, the update with Jake Paul leaving Bizarre Bart. You know. Okay. Sorry again, I'm like. Okay. Boom. Lash is done. And like, I don't know if you can see like how close they are to my lash line. It's still drying there, but. Workout routine? Are you kidding me? Girl, look at my body. Well, I guess my body doesn't look that bad on live. What about, like, if I, like... <sighs> no, I gained... So, see? I gained so much weight over quarantine. It's ridiculous. But again, like, it is what it is. You know, life goes on. So now I'm just doing a calorie-deficient diet just to, like, let go of some of that weight. Because it's not that I, it's, like, bad to gain weight, but, like, as an actress, like, if I get headshots done, right, and, like, uh, whoever calls me in for an audition, they expect me to, like, look the certain way that I look in my headshot. So, that's why, essentially, like, actors and actresses can't, like, dye their hair. Because, like, let's say somebody's looking for, like, a role with, like, a blonde-haired girl, right, you know? 
And then they see this headshot of somebody who's blonde. They call them in for an audition. Then they come in with pink hair. Then it's like, okay, well, like, you're really pretty and a great actress. But, like, I can't use you now because you're, like, it's not the breakdown of the role that I I wanted. Okay, so listen how cute this is. So I call my girlfriend Clover, right? And I asked her out on Valentine's Day. And I was looking for, like, things to get her because I couldn't find... Why does that look like that? I couldn't find, um, like, everything I did. I didn't know that I was going to ask God. It's a long story. It's a long story. I don't even need to talk about it. But I call her Clover, right? Um, and I'm in the store looking for things to get her. And I find this ring. And I, you can't see it. But it's literally, like, pressed. It's a pressed clover. Like, a pressed flower clover in a mood ring and there were two it was buy one get one free so i got us matching mood rings with clovers in them how freaking cute is that thank you guys for the gifts you know it's so weird every time i like well actually it's not weird we're not going to talk about it i'm not gonna be like oh my gosh i'm so queer i'm oppressed it's not like that at all um i need to finish doing my mascara and maybe put some eyeliner on because I look like a crazy person. That's so cute. Yes. What do I think of Driver's License? I think it's like one of the best songs ever, bro. Are you kidding me? What do you think of Driver's License? <laughs> what do you think? I think it's... I think Olivia is really talented and I always told her... I was like, dude, one day you're going to be famous. Like, you're like, do acting if you want to do acting. Like, go for it. Like, because that's what, like, Liv was doing at the time. You know, we were on Bizarre Bark. She was what? Like, four. she started Bizarre Bark when she was 12. That's really young. And she, I remember, like, I found these old videos of her singing. And I didn't know that she could, like, sing that well. When I found out, she would, like, sing for us and stuff. And I was like, dude, you're going to be famous. Like, like I said, like, you know, if you want to do acting, like, go off, do whatever you want. But, like, I really think that, like, music is where you're, like, that industry is what you're going to thrive in. And literally now she's, like, breaking records with her song. So, yeah, she was 12. Olivia and Ethan were 13 and I was 14. Or, no, she was 12. Thir Maybe she was 13. No, she was 12. Was she 12 or was she 13? I can't remember. 12 or 13, something like that, because I was the oldest. I was 15. Madison and Ethan were 14, and she was either 12 or 13. I can't wait. I'm 19, and she just turned 18. She's 17, so she was 12, turning 13. That's what it was, because we started in February, and she had just, yeah, right. Okay, sorry. I had to, like, think that through, but I liked being the oldest. Well, Jake was the oldest at the time, but then, like, Whenever Jake left, um, <laughs> left, <laughs> and, like, the new kids came on, um, I was the oldest, and I liked that. I was the, I was the big man on set. Hoo-hoo. Should I make a fan page for you? I don't know. That's